Okay. So we are going to work on our Genius Hour research portion and starting to plan our actual presentation. So you guys have done the past two Fridays, your research. So I have some examples up here of the first page of that research planner. So you filled it out, like say I'm going to research the following, and then you filled out what information you found as well as where you found that information because remember, we're not committing plagiarism. We are going to give credit to where credit is due. So you should really have two pages from last Friday and two pages from the Friday before. So you will have approximately six boxes filled out each time, so a total of 12. Really, that is not enough research. So if you have additional research that you've been doing or that you plan on doing, I suggest that you find even more facts, but this is at least a really good start. So now today we are going to practice for um, our Friday Genius Hour is putting our research together and starting to plan our presentation. We watched Genius, or I'm sorry, TED Talks, and we talked about how they're entertaining. They used things in the background, but their whole presentation was not on a slide that they just read off of. We talked about how they were passionate, how they were able to just sit and have a conversation because they knew things about their subject, because they're experts. Remember, the whole point is you becoming an expert on something you're passionate about. That's why you chose your topic. So you are going to plan the order that you want to present your information. This is really important. A lot of times you guys do presentations, you start just plugging in the information and it's all out of order. It's just like when you pre-write something for an essay or when you start planning like we did for the retail and reading where you planned out everything that happened and all the events. It's the same sort of thing. You need to plan out what you're going to say and in what order you're going to say it so that it makes sense. So you're going to create kind of your own outline and then you're just gonna take a picture and upload it similar to what you guys did when we were in class the last two days and you took a picture and uploaded your visualization charts. So I'm not going to give you something to fill out. You're just gonna do it on a piece of paper or you can create your own on a Google Doc. I'm gonna draw on the board an example and you can use the exact same example that I'm going to do with you. So for research for Genius Hour, I chose to do one of my, my most favorite people in history, Eleanor Roosevelt. So she was, she's an awesome lady. If you ever want to research somebody, um, she's, there's so much information about her. So I found some just facts, some interesting facts because I want my whole entire presentation to be interesting. And I'm going to start looking at what I researched. I researched her early life, her life in politics, and her family connections. Those are the topics. Well, what would make sense for me to put in what order? Well, it would make sense to go in chronological order, maybe. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is her early life. Right? So that's my first topic, is her early life. So then I'm going to put just a list of things that I want to include about her early life. And these things come from my research. Uh, and then I'm gonna look at my research and see what would make sense for it to come next. Well, would life and politics or family connections? That one can kind of go either way. I think I wanna talk about her family next because that's kind of the interesting part is who her family is. So my next topic that I'm going to talk about is her family connections. And then again, I have a couple different things to talk about from my research about her family connections. And then the last thing is her life in politics. Obviously, you're doing it on a piece of paper. I'm trying to write really big for you to see. Um, life in politics, A, B. Okay, so now I'm just going to go through my research and plug in the inf interesting information. Do I have to use all the information I found in my research? No, I don't, because maybe not all of it is interesting. So for her early life, I, I have here, Anna Eleanor Roosevelt was her real name. A lot of people just know her as Eleanor Roosevelt, 
So her actual name was Anna Eleanor. So that is Anna Eleanor was her real name, which is what real was real name. Okay. So I can put like kind of a check mark next to that because I use that information. Um, she was born in New York City on October 11th, 1884. Okay, like that's kind of inter important. Is it interesting? Um, I don't know. I'm not sure if I want to include that. I'll put it on here and then we'll see. Maybe I will use it. Maybe I won't. So born October 11th, 1884 in New York. Uh, she was the American spokesman in the, for, the, in the, for the United Nations in 1962. That's not her early life, but that's her life in politics. So I would add that down here. UN spokesman. In 1962. To me, that's interesting, and I would want to find out more about that. So I don't have anything more about that. But that's definitely something else I want to research because it's interesting. So I'm going to put a star next to it to remind myself to go back and do some more research. She was the niece of President Teddy Roosevelt. Well, that's kind of cool. Like her uncle was president and then she married a guy who became president. So I would put that under family connections. She married Franklin Roosevelt, who was her fifth cousin removed. Super interesting, kind of weird. Right? That's a fact I would want to share. She married her cousin, but he was his fifth, her fifth cousin removed. Really wasn't that unique at the time. A lot of people would marry kind of within their family, within money and things like that. Today, we think that's really super strange though, probably. So that's interesting. People are going to be like, what? Right? So I'm definitely going to want to include that. So I would write that under family connections. Definitely a family connection. She was an early champion of civil rights for African Americans. So that would go down here under her life and politics. So I would continue going through my research and plugging it in under the correct topic. Maybe I would have to add a fourth topic over here, right? If I had research that didn't fit into one of the first things I talked about. Maybe after going through all of my research, I realized that I don't have very much information about her early life. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna research some more. So the step you are doing today is you are planning out your topics that you're going to talk about and you're plugging all of your research in under kind of these main topics of your presentation. I would not have more than five main topics because then it's gonna just get to be way too much. So five main topics. So again, today you're taking your research. So if you haven't done any research, you probably should do research today. So you're taking your research, you're taking your information, you're coming up with your main topics, almost like a social studies book, right? Here's your headings and here's the information about that heading. So you're taking what is that main topic Here's your information about it. So we are starting to organize all of our research. And then next Friday, I'm going to talk to you exactly on how you're going to build and create your presentation. So that is what you are working on. I hope you enjoy it and good luck.